A panel of experts gave an update today on the toxic algae bloom that's harming marine mammals off of the Southern California coast. Our Lani Latang is live for us in La Jolla with more on what people should know as the holiday weekend draws a lot of people to the coast. Lani. Andrew, you could have heard those sea lions behind me. You might still be able to hear them, but that's what scientists want people to know, to be aware of their surroundings. What's happening is these marine mammals like sea lions, they're feeding on this harmful plankton, getting sick off of it and then coming to the beach. That's why it's important to give them their space. Now, scientists say this algae is nothing new, but over the years it's becoming more toxic and they are taking note of those impacts. We're used to seeing these animals on the, the beach displaying these the symptoms. What we're not used to is the numbers in which they're coming in right now. We're just seeing so many. Scientists say people at the beach could encounter a sick marine mammal over the next few weeks. There's an algae bloom happening off the shore. The algae or plankton is called pseudonychia, which scientists see every year. The plankton doesn't always become toxic and produce domoic acid. In this year's event, it has, causing hundreds of sea lions and dolphins to become sick or die. When the animals are eating whatever fish or squid or whatever it is offshore they're eating right now in abundance, um, they don't see anything. They're just eating this, this creature and that creature fed on other creatures that fed on other creatures that ate the plankton initially. And now you have an accumulation of this microscope, this, you know, teeny tiny molecule, this toxin in their system. Clarissa Anderson with the Scripps Institute of Oceanography has been studying harmful algal blooms for more than 20 years. She says the bloom happens in the spring to early summer. That's when cold water from hundreds, even thousands of feet deep, pushes the pseudonychia up. But it does take a certain mixture of conditions to get it to be toxic. And that can be anything from um, the proportion of nutrients that are in the water. It could be a cross section of that with a little bit of warming that's thrown in. Scientists say the toxins are causing marine mammals to have seizures, pain. NOAA is asking people to keep their distance and wait for professional help of medication and fluids. People on the beach are not gonna be able to do anything along those lines. Um, we have to give them plenty of fluids and again we don't want people pouring water on them or trying to get the animals to drink it. We actually have to do it intravenously or under the skin. We don't want to be too anthropomorphic about it and think about just what we care about which is these these beautiful creatures that are sick. Anderson says the pseudonychia plankton with the toxins does contribute to a productive ecosystem. Adding scientists must look through both lenses. That's kind of the interesting bimodal thing here. You could have a really vibrant fishery and there may be fishermen that are so stoked right now. You could also have all these sick animals. And so it's 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 not an easy good or bad. But the good news is for humans, it's not harmful that demoic acid just by water contact. It is if you ingest it. But the California Department of Fish and Wildlife says there, they haven't seen any levels of demoic acid in the seafood we eat here in San Diego County. They're doing that test weekly. And they also say that this algae should move out of here, this Southern California coast, within the next two to three weeks. Again, that's just a rough estimate. They're still unclear exactly how that will factor out. Reporting live in La Jolla Coast, I'm Alani Latang, Fox 5 News.